Hello, welcome to the mini story for models. Are you ready to begin? Big smile. Shoulders back. Breathing deeply. Moving your body. Let's go. Laura wanted to be a triathlete. Who wanted to be a triathlete? Laura. Laura wanted to be a triathlete. What is a triathlete? Well, a triathlete is a person who does three different sports. Swimming, cycling, riding a bicycle, and running. Right? So tri means three. T-R-I. Tri means three. So three sports. A three-sport athlete. Swimming, cycling, and running. Did Laura want to swim, cycle, and run? Yes, she did. She wanted to swim. She wanted to cycle. And she wanted to run. She wanted to be a triathlete. Who wanted to be a triathlete? Laura. Laura wanted to be a triathlete. Did she want to be a normal triathlete? Not Laura. Laura wanted to be a superstar triathlete. In fact, she wanted to be the number one triathlete in the world. What kind of triathlete did she want to be? A superstar triathlete. Laura wanted to be a superstar triathlete. She wanted to win the Iron Man race in Hawaii. Which race did she want to win? The Iron Man race. She wanted to win the Iron Man race in Hawaii. The Iron Man triathlete race. Did she want to be a superstar triathlete or a pretty good triathlete? Well, of course, superstar. She wanted to be a superstar triathlete. Laura always wants to be the best. So Laura wanted to be a superstar triathlete. She wanted to win the Ironman race. How long... Is the Iron Man race? Hmm. Well, the Iron Man race is a swim that is 2.5 miles. 2.5 miles swimming. And 212 miles cycling. And 26.4 miles running. Wow. Is it a long race or a short race? Oh, it's a long race. It's a super long race. Two and a half miles swimming, 212 miles cycling. And basically, 26 miles running. That's the Ironman race. Who wanted to win the Ironman race? Laura. Laura wanted to be a superstar triathlete. She wanted to win the biggest race. She wanted to win the Ironman triathlete race. But she had a problem, of course. Oh, there's always a problem. What was Laura's problem? Well, her problem was her peer group were all lazy losers. Did she have a positive, strong, superstar peer group? No. No, she did not. 
She had a peer group of lazy losers. Were her friends superstars? No, they weren't. They were lazy losers. Her peer group was full of lazy losers. What about her job? Were they superstars? Were they athletes? Oh, no, they weren't. Her co workers complained constantly, and they were lazy. What were her co workers like? Well, they were lazy and they complained constantly. Who were lazy and complained constantly? Co workers. Her co workers complained constantly and they were lazy. Were they superstar athletes? No, they weren't. They were lazy. They were lazy and they always complained. And they stole from their company. What did they do? They stole money from their company. They were thieves. They were complainers and they were lazy. Was this a good peer group? No, it was a terrible peer group. Terrible co workers for Laura. Her co workers were complainers, they were lazy, and they were thieves. They stole from the company. How did Laura feel about her co workers? Oh, she hated them. She hated her co workers. Did she love them? No, of course not. She hated them. She hated her co workers. They were a terrible peer group. They complained. They were lazy. They stole from the company. Did her co workers? Encourage her and inspire her. No, they didn't encourage her. They didn't inspire her. She hated them. They were terrible. How about her friends? Well, they were nice, but they were lazy. Her friends slept all day. And watched TV and ate French fries. What did her friends eat? French fries. 20 pounds of French fries every day. All her friends ate 20 pounds of French fries every single day, each. How much did they eat? 20 pounds. 20 pounds of French fries every day. Were they healthy? No, they weren't healthy. They were very unhealthy. Were they in good shape? They were not in good shape. They were not healthy. In good shape means healthy or strong physically. So they were not in good shape. They were not healthy. Did Laura want to be in good shape? Yes, she did. She wanted to be in great shape. She wanted to be super healthy. What did she want to be? A superstar triathlete. She wanted to be a superstar triathlete. Were her friends superstar triathletes? No, they weren't. They were lazy French fry eaters. They ate 20 pounds of French fries every day while watching TV. Was this a good peer group for Laura, who wanted to be a superstar triathlete? 
Of course not. It was not a good peer group for Laura. So Laura said, I want a new peer group. What did she want? A new peer group. Who wanted a new peer group? Laura did. Laura wanted a new peer group. Who wanted a new peer group? Yeah, that's right. Laura. Laura wanted a new peer group. Did she want new co-workers? Yes, she did. Did she want new friends? Yes, she did. What did she want? A new peer group. So she got a new job. Was it a better job? Oh, yes, it was. It was a better job with great co-workers. Super enthusiastic co-workers. What kind of co-workers did she have? Super enthusiastic. She had super enthusiastic co-workers. Did they have a lot of energy? Of course they did. They had a lot of energy. They were super enthusiastic. Of course they did. Who had a lot of energy? Her new co-workers. She also found new friends. What kind of friends did she find? Well, she found super athletes. Super athletes. Her new friends were all super athletes. They all loved to run. They all loved to swim. They all loved to cycle. They went to the gym every day. They ate healthy. They were super healthy. What kind of new friends did she find? Super athletes. Superstar athletes. Her new friends were all superstar athletes. Were they superstar athletes? Of course they were. They loved to exercise. So she had... New co-workers. She had new friends. She had a new peer group. A great peer group. An inspiring peer group. Now she felt great. So, she trained every day. She practiced every day. Every day she ran. Every day she swam Every day she rode her bike. Did she ride her bike every day or sometimes? Every day. How often did she swim and run and cycle? Every day. Who swam? Who ran? Who cycled every day? Laura, of course. Laura swam every day. Laura cycled every day. She ran every day. She exercised every day. Finally, the day came. The Iron Man race. First, the swimming. She jumped into the ocean, and she swam, and she swam. Was she fast or slow? She was fast. She was a superstar swimmer. She came out of the water number one. And next she got on her bicycle. And she rode and she rode and she rode and she rode. Faster, faster, faster. She was a superstar cyclist. Finally, after 212 miles, she jumped off her bike and began to run. She ran faster. And faster, and faster, and faster. She felt stronger and stronger and stronger. She was a superstar athlete at last. 
Of course, she won the Iron Man race. She became the number one superstar triathlete of the world. Laura succeeded. Okay, that is the end of the mini story for models. As always, listen to it many times. Deep learning, deep learning, deep learning. I'll say it one more time. Deep learning. I know this seems like a repetitive point, but I'm going to keep saying it every time because you need to learn deeply. Most of these stories are in the past tense because most students need more practice with the past tense. And there are some other tenses mixed in there, too, sometimes. You don't need to know the names. It's not important. Don't think about it. The important thing is to listen, listen, listen. And if you want to, answer the questions quickly, quickly, quickly. It's okay to just listen. You don't need to answer. If you don't want to, if you're on a train or you're uh, around other people, you can just listen quietly. But if you want to, you can pause and answer the questions. Pause and answer the questions. Try to do it quickly. But the important part is repetitive listening, deep, deep learning. You don't want to just learn these things. You need to master them. Okay, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.